Okay, Sunday morning in the kingdom, and I'm getting a cold now. I'm getting sick, thanks to the staff. On oh, rail. So I'm going to have to drink lots of beverage to overcome my cold. All right, this morning we woke up to minus 24, which is lies, because it's actually colder out here, but feels like minus 30. Lies, lies. Yes, it's cold. And then on the yo-yo scale, minus 11 Fahrenheit. Lame ass. But feels like minus 22 Fahrenheit. Lame ass. Also, too, it's Sunday. So there's your vacuum. Make sure you clean it. We seem to have one dog shedding, but that's normal here in the kingdom because we have rescue dogs. All right, I'll put this down. Don't look at the bald spot or the cleavage. All right. So today we're going to take the 38 GMC out right there. We have it plugged in with this cord. Can you see the cord? There. See the cord, Yogi? All right, it's there. I can't see it. All right, so we're going to travel on the winter road or the cat train trails around the kingdom to see or to get the motor running and get the clutch worked in and stuff like that because it's been sitting too long. I don't know how many miles we put on it since 1977. I don't think very many, but oh well, that's par for the course. And also, too, I'm trying to reply to comments on YouTube and they're not going through. So I hit refresh, refresh, and refresh, and nothing goes through. So if you get a comment which says thanks or likes or looks good, that's a generic comment that is there we click on. If it doesn't have this thanks spelt my way, I can't reply. So that's what the problem is. I don't know what I did. Maybe I'm in the bad books again. Just like that Tiki Talk. What, four months, five months later, I still can't reply to my own posts or comments or anything like that. So I can give the happy face, you know. All right, I'm here. And I have to give the little heart out, meaning that I enjoyed your comment or whatever. Unreal. Oh, well, I chose to live up here and freeze my tushy off having fun. All right, let's back out of the hose shack here. The me phone will be shocked at the temperature. Look at the sunshine. Just so bright. Yes, my future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. Oh, there we go. Block the sun with my big head. All right, so over here, the flags are looking good. We got the gifted flags installed and we did it correctly. Yes, unreal. Okay, and then over here, oops, I got the burps. Oh, that's that peanut butter. I smothered my toast in it. All right, there's the wood stove. And then with cold items going in the shop last night, the wood stove died out because it was trying to put out heat to warm up the shop. So I had to restart to make a fresh fire. Just for the Swedish kid. That's a fresh fire with accelerants. All right, let's go back in the show. Ho shack here before the me phone gets excited and censors me and quits. Oh, well. All right, let's go. Here comes the boss. Sunday morning in Whoville, and it's just after 9.30 a.m. I had toast and eggs for breakfast this morning. I'm feeling a little bit better, but still not the greatest. I have to go over to the kingdom this afternoon and go see what my dad's up to, and then later on I will be making a nice little supper for us. We're going to have calzones, which is basically just pizza pops. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, and do some cleaning. Almost 1 p.m. and I just finished up lunch and got the skidoo out. I just had leftovers from last night since I'm still not feeling the greatest. Now it's time to head on over to the kingdom and see what my dad's up to today. Just after 1 p.m. and I made it to the kingdom. Now I'm going to go into the shop and help my dad lift the hood off the TD-18. And then we can get the 38 started and go have some fun on the trails. Just got the 38 started. We didn't record it because we weren't sure if it was going to start or not or if it was going to have any problems, but we're glad it started up with no issue. Now it's time to let it warm up and then we'll head down to the rabbit tower and do a few videos.
over at the rabbit tower now. My dad's trying to turn around at the 90 degree corner. It looks like he's a little stuck. All he has to do is back in towards the muskeg area and then turn back around and go up the hill back into the kingdom. One thirty, we're down by the rabbit tower slash 90 degree and it looks like my dad kind of slipped and fell off the packed road a little bit here as you can see so I think he's gonna go up and get the mini or maybe the famous black cat just to pull it back and line it up I don't know if we'll be able to go back up by the rabbit tower we might have to go out this way and back around into the kingdom and here my dad comes with the mini by the time we got the famous black cat started the mini could come down and pull it out hopefully we don't have any issues if we do then we'll have to get the famous black cat started and bring it down looks like he even grabbed his coffee while he was up there Got the mini hooked up to the 38, now my dad's gonna pull it back. I might have to jump in and steer it, but I guess we'll see in a minute or two. Oh, I don't think he hooked it on properly. Oops. Got the 38 pulled back and now my dad's going to attempt to get back up the hill past the rabbit tower and then he'll stop. I'm going to see if he makes it. If not, I'll have to jump in and steer while he pushes with the mini.
Looks like I'll have to get into the 38 and steer it back up the hill and into the kingdom. We are switching places and now I'm going to get on the mini and my dad will steer the 38 up the hill. I think he just needs a little momentum and then he'll be able to get on his way. Looks like I'm going to have to push him all the way back into the kingdom here. He did get a little bit of momentum and now he's stuck on top of the tiny hill. So I have to take the bucket on the mini here and just give him a little love tap on the back of the 38. Made it back into the kingdom and we're going to head over to the shop and take the inside tires off and see if that helps with the traction problem we're having and then we'll go down the south trail and hopefully not get stuck. Okay, we just went down to the rabbit tower and back to show the world or do a demonstration on cultivating. Yes, we we're cultivating our snow road. Yes, that's all we were doing. Okay, so when my grandpa ran these trucks for Barnes Raiders from 1930 to 52, they would take the outside dual off because the inside dual is straight in line with the front wheel. We can't do that, okay? So what we have to do is run the dual wheel on the outside with the chains because we have the park brake cables here, all right? So the chain will grab that park brake cable and rip it off because it's, uh, how would you say, a new style design. It's not from the 30s where you could, how would you say, rip it off a few times and go to the auto parts store and get it. Those were custom made by Sir Rodney. So that was the main thing is to get this thing up and going. So look at all the new parts here for the park brake cables, yes. So that's why we're taking the inside dual off to run the outside dual so we can actually propel ourselves around in the wilderness Alaska here but in northern Manitoba oops gotta move here so I don't get flagged oh okay so all it was doing was the chains were digging down and then this was just sitting there spinning 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 yes yeah, spinning so that's what we did for a demonstration on how or why do not to run single chains i don't know why those people do that up on the winter road put the singles on the outside and drive along and think they can go everywhere but that's not us we put the triples on when we run the duels and the single chains on the steering tires oh yes that was a screaming ford which gave me 10 seconds no 15 seconds of fame on ice road truckers it was 10 years ago today that we missed that corner on ricochet hill oh the memories two o'clock we're just taking the inside tires off my dad did a video on it so i don't have to explain everything but once the inside tires are off we can go down the south trail and hopefully not get stuck we are going to put these two tires into the canopy shed for now because we will need them again
And it looks like we are stuck again, so my dad's gonna go down the dog trail back into the kingdom and go grab the mini. While my dad goes to get the mini, I'm staying over here where it's nice and warm. I'll go sit in the cab of the 38 and warm up a little bit because I am still really sick, so I'm a little chilled right now. This is a bad spot in the spring and summertime. Normally it's a big mud pit, so it is kind of soft here and it was expected for my dad to get stuck. The reason why we have all the lights on the 38 here is to test out the load to see if any of the circuits will blow or catch fire. You never know nowadays with the wiring and stuff, but it looks like everything is doing pretty good. The voltage meter inside the cab there says we're sitting at 14, so that's what we want. At least for, for now, it's doing pretty good. Almost 3 p.m. my dad came back with the mini. I think we're just gonna push him out a little bit Maybe give him a few love taps on the back of the 38. He should be able to make it out Not sure how much video I'll be getting because I'll be on the mini pushing Looks like he was able to make it out. I didn't have to push him. Not sure if you can see him, but he's just behind the sleigh right here. So now I'll take the mini and drive on over there in hopes he doesn't get stuck again. Just after 3 p.m. we're officially done with the 38, so my dad went to park it up by the house right next to the 41. That way it'll look good in all the pictures and videos. Now it's time to put the mini away and see what's next. Almost 3.30, I'm officially done in the kingdom. Made sure to grab my dog treats and the travel tray for my dad's food tonight. Now it's time to head on back into Whoville and start cooking. Just after 3.30, I made it home from the kingdom. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, and do my prep for supper tonight. 4.30 and I just finished my prep for tonight. We are having craft pizza kit calzones. You can actually do a lot with these neat little kits here. It comes with everything inside as well, but if you look on the back, there is a calzone recipe. Calzones are basically just big pizza pops, so that's what we're having tonight. But now that my prep is done, I can let the dogs out and start supper. 
6 p.m. and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's negative 15 degrees Celsius, which is 5 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It was pretty nice today other than that wind, which made it extra cold. Now it's time to head inside, pack up all the food, and drop it off in the kingdom. Just after 6 p.m. and the first batch of calzones are done. They are just big homemade pizza pops, but now I can take my dad's over to the kingdom and drop them off and end my day. Okay, we're done for the day. We stocked up the wood stove so it'll burn till I have to come out before Betty buy and stock it up again. Oh, the joys of living remote. Lots of work. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, that sun is bright, but it's not too warm. It's chilly willy out here. All right, and there's the flags looking good. We had fun today. Yes, getting stuck to set the clutch. Yes, does that make sense? Oh, well, if not, have a drink. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, and make a video. Talk to you later.